Hi, I'm Dr. Travis Owens with Cheerleading Blueprints, and today we're gonna to be going over some exercises for the shoulders and upper body using very minimal equipment that you can perform at home. These exercises are designed to help improve shoulder strength and shoulder health, and with very little equipment, we can even tailor these to cheerleading specific exer uh, exercises or activities. So today we're gonna to be utilizing a resistance band and a couple of small dumbbells. Now, additionally, things that can be used for these exercises are, um, well, one of my favorites is a gallon of water. A full gallon weighs eight pounds, so a half gallon obviously would be four pounds, and we can use either one gallon jug full of water for overhead reaches, front raises, and things that we're gonna go over here in just a second, or we can get two of those, and basically like having two dumbbells, we can use a couple gallon jugs to create resistance to build strength. So the first thing we're gonna use is our resistance band, and we're gonna be showing you an overhead press. Now with our band, we want to anchor it off to a point that's low, that can either be underneath here, like this, we can also look at tying it off on the floor if we have a heavy enough weight or somewhere sturdy like a couch or a heavy table that we can tie it off on. But for now, we're just gonna feed the band under our chair. Once we get our band here, our goal with this exercise is to keep our elbows close to our body. The band will be inside of our elbows. And the reason why we don't want to get outside is because it puts our wrists in an abnormal position. So with our bands inside of our elbows, we're gonna press overhead and then lower back to the front, again, keeping our elbows nice and tight. Now, one thing that can go, uh, go, all, go incorrectly here that we wanna make sure that we are, are very specific about is when we get to the top here, we want to try to lock our arms and we want to try to lift through our shoulders. Now, a lot of times what we'll see is athletes will kind of shrug up and kind of pinch their ears and that puts our shoulder in more of an unstable position. So ideally we would want to be here, pressing up, kind of lifting through our rib cage or lifting through the shoulder blades and again, bringing it back down. Now this looks very similar to our stunting. So that'd be holding a person and pressing overhead just like that. Now this is one of these exercises where we can utilize a gallon of, a gallon of water or a gallon jug. And again, doing the same motion, pressing overhead, keeping our arms tight and focusing on shrugging or pushing through before we lower back down. Now, similarly, if we have some smaller weights, we can use things like dumbbells performing the same action here. The dumbbells give us a little bit of variability where we can hold just like we would a foot if we were stunting and pressing overhead. We can hold a single dumbbell if we have these that are big enough and perform the same exercise. Or we can change the position of our hands to work on this press here. So again, the dumbbells or the gallon jug give us a lot of variability uh, that the band may not offer. While we're holding our weights here, the second move I want to show you guys is a side lateral raise. With this exercise, using either our dumbbells, we'll show the band here in just a second, we would be raising up to the side and back down and raising up to the side and back down. Now our goal with this isn't to get too far behind us and it isn't to get too far in front. We wanna stay basically to where you can see your hands. So as like a T motion would be, we don't wanna to be too far back. We wanna be right out to where we can see our hands out of the corner of our eyes. So from here, down, lifting, and back down. So that would be our side lateral raise. Using our bands, we would perform the same action, holding the ends of the bands here, raising out to the side, and then lowering back down. And then raising up to the side, and lowering back down. Now if we have any discomfort with these exercises, especially this one here, when you're lifting to the side, if you feel any pinching or discomfort in the shoulder, try one small change where we turn our thumbs towards the sky. It puts the shoulder in a little bit more of a neutral position and can help to decrease some discomfort that may come from this exercise. So again, if you have any pain or pinching with this position, just turn your hands over and get that thumbs up towards the ceiling. Now, the second variation of that, we can still use our bands and our dumbbells, but instead of going to the side, we would hold here and we'd be lifting to the front and lowering back down. And again, lifting to the front and lowering back down. Now the important thing here is that we keep our arms locked out. We don't let our elbows bend. 
because our goal is to work the front side of the shoulder and into our bicep. So again, if we feel any pinching or anything that feels uncomfortable, play with the width that you're holding your hands in front of you. If we get too narrow, that may be a little un un uncomfortable for the shoulder. Usually straight out in front of us is gonna be ideal. For our dumbbells or our gallon jugs, I would say for these, if you're using the gallon jugs, get two of them and fill them about halfway. That would be about four pounds and focus more on control and lifting and back down. Again, keeping our thumbs wide, our thumbs up, excuse me, and arms completely straight and back down here. Our last one that I wanna show you guys really gets into some more specifics of stunting and it gives some variability with how we're positioning our arm. Very similarly to the first press that we guys showed where we were pressing overhead, this press is called the Arnold Press, named after Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it starts with our weights in front of us here and then finishing with a twist to the top. And so again, we wanna make sure that we don't come out to the side. We don't wanna put our shoulders in an abnormal position. We wanna think that we're basically gonna be punching up and twisting at the same time. So we don't wanna go up and then twist. We don't wanna twist and then go up. We wanna start tall and then finish those at the same time. Again, lifting through the rib cage at the top. And then we corkscrew back down to the bottom and then press back through all the way to the top. With these exercises, typically we're gonna work on sets of anywhere from eight to 15 reps. But the most important thing that we wanna do is make sure our form looks good, make sure that we have no pain. And then ideally we would want to increase our resistance as we get stronger, either with a heavy resistance band, bigger dumbbells, or if we max out with our gallon jug, we can even look into things like medicine balls um, or maybe even buying some bigger dumbbells. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. I hope these exercises are helpful for you. If you'd like videos with more exercises, click the link above. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, click the link down below and hit the bell for notifications. We'll see you soon.